Hello friends and welcome back to my channel all things Trek 47. Bienvenidos. If you're new to the channel, especially want to say hello and welcome. Take a look around the channel. There's probably a few videos here and there mostly relating to Star Trek Online that you might enjoy. Um, if you're into Star Trek Online, if not, I also have a couple of videos just with some Star Trek news in general. I'll have more of that coming soon also. Um, today we're going to talk about something that is really important to do in the game. If you're a free to play player, it's happening right now. And honestly, you have to do this. Well, OK, you don't have to, but it will enhance your gameplay. Trust me on this. All right. Before we get into that, let's roll the intro. Dale. <music> So I promised you that there was something cool going on in the game that you needed to do, and that is to create a temporal agent recruit. So I've spoken about recruitment events in the past. The temporal agent one is the one that you do not want to miss. You can miss the Delta. You can miss the Klingon one if you want to, or the Jem'Hadar one, the Dominion one. Um, but definitely don't miss out on the temporal agent recruit. It gives you the most um bang for no bucks because you don't pay anything for it but it unlocks so many things for your account not just for that character but for your entire account and the different characters within your account my very first character on this free-to-play account was Miguel Vasquez and he is a temporal agent recruit now this event again is going from June 8th to June 29th so you have some time to do this so let me show you how to do that real quick. Go to a new character. And if you have not created a TOS Starfleet character, now's the time because that's the only way you're going to be able to get the temporal recruit character, temporal agent recruit. So you're going to go and create a TOS Starfleet character. Even if it's not your cup of tea and you're not a TOS person, that's OK. Just do it for the sake of of grabbing all these goodies. Trust me, you're going to want to do it. All right, so click on that. Click next. Now, unfortunately, when you're creating a TOS character, you only have the option of four different species. That's it. That's all you get. You don't even get the alien character where you get to decide what kind of character it's going to be. If it's going to be a mix between a Vulcan and a human or a Vulcan and a Andorian, whatever. You don't have that option. Um, you only have human and Dorian, Tellarite, and Vulcan. Um, in this case, I think I'm gonna just do an Andorian um, for the sake of, of having a different character. I don't have an Andorian yet on this account. Um, let's click next and let's do an engineering officer because I already have a tactical officer. Click next. And I've gone through the, um, through um, how to modify a character and stuff like that before. And um, there's another video on that if you wanna go ahead and watch it and see what options you have but there's a lot of options here to customize your character and i'm just going to leave it as is because we're just creating this character um to kind of show you how to do it but by all means spend hours here modifying your character if you want to your liking um i know i do from time to time so click next i'm just going to pick a random name and we're going to go ahead and engage all right so uh, you have to go through the tutorial first. There's no way to skip this one. You're just going to have to go through the tutorial. I'm going to skip this. All right. So disable pop ups. And here we are on the bridge of a TOS ship. And it looks very much like the Enterprise um, bridge in TOS in the original series. So go through the motions, definitely talk to the character, play through the tutorial. Now, this is one of those recruitment events where some of them you can go ahead and you could just play through part of the tutorial and grab a specific, a special device. And that's it. That's all you got to play it for. Temporal recruitment event is unfortunately not like that. Um, you have to play through. Um, it is, I believe, six missions. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So you have to play through six different missions 
um, before you get that device. So that device is what allows you to go ahead and grab all the rewards and all the goodies. Without it, you don't get any of that stuff. So this is one of those recruitment events where you're gonna have to actually spend a little time with this character that you just created. And you're gonna have to go through those first six missions in order to be able to grab that device. And it's important because um, without it, again, you don't get any of the goodies. So take some time on the weekend or something. These missions usually are not that long. Um, again, TOS might not be your cup of tea, but trust me, it's worth playing through. Um, the missions are very well done in my opinion. I really enjoyed them. Um, but then again, I, I like TOS, so, but <laughs> definitely just kind of, you know, power on through it if you don't. And, um, but it's, it's going to be worth it. So after that, you will get a device and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Let's go to my actual, um, other character, Miguel, who's a temper recruit that I've had for, for a long time. I got a lot of goodies on this character because it's my very first one and I've been playing with him for for a while. But here we go. This is what that device looks like. It's called the Temporal Transponder. Temporal Transponder. If we right click on this and click Use, you'll be able to see that um, there's a lot of things that show up. Let's go ahead and go through a couple of these real quick. Real quick, I'm not going to go through all of them. Just know that there's a ton of good rewards on here. Um, ranks 10 through 40 when you just level up from rank 10 to 40 at each uh, milestone rank 10 rank 20 rank 30 rank 40 you're gonna get some consoles or weapons or ground equipment you get to pick between those and those will be appropriate to your level and they'll be probably a little bit better than weapons that you could just find from the missions or from drops so it's helpful as you're leveling up your character but what's really great is when you hit level 50. When you hit level 50, you're gonna be able to get 250 of each reputation mark. That's 250 of each reputation mark. So that will definitely kickstart um, you being able to level up your reputations and it takes some time. So being able to do that at level 50 and getting that process started is gonna be great because at, once you hit level 50, you're going to have to start doing patrols. You're going to have to start doing TFOs to be able to get these reputation marks, right? And that takes time. Well, this shaves some of that time off. So it also gives you 10,000 reputation only dilithium. Um, reputation only dilithium is helpful because if you're trying to grab anything from the reputation stores or from the reputations themselves, like um, consoles or weapons or things like that, um, that's going to be helpful to you. You don't have to actually grind out for dilithium right away. It'll give you a little bit. It's not a ton, but 10,000 reputation only dilithium. I'll take it over nothing, right? Um, you also get 500,000 energy credits, 500,000 expertise, and two temporal agent tech upgrades. So you get a little EC in that. When you hit level 60, they give you some more again. At level 60, you get another 250 of each reputation mark. So really what you're getting here at level by level 60 is they would have given you already 500 reputation marks for each reputation in the game, which is fantastic. 500 to start off with, that'll help you level up your um, your um, reputations at least I think up to level three or four without you having to do any TFOs, without you having to do any patrols and grabbing any reputation marks that way. So that's really great. Um, you get 200,000 reputation only dilithium. So you get double the reputation dilithium that you would at level 50. You get another 500,000 energy credits, 500,000 expertise and 20,000 salvage. So salvage is good later on because you'll be able to uh, reroll um, your different consoles and weapons and stuff like that. And you also get two temporal agent tech upgrades to upgrade um, a console or things like that. There's a lot of rewards here, y'all. When you hit level, um, when you upgrade any um, device or weapon or something to um, level, tw what is this? Not 12, 15? Is that 15? It's a 10 and a five. Yeah, I think level 15s. Um, it'll grad grant you a large salvage uh, pack that you get as an account unlock. 
so that's really great um salvage but salvage is good for when you're again when you're um re-engineering a device so r d if you get your r d schools um when you get it to level one any r d school to level one it'll grant you a random selection of five r d special duty officers which is great um duty officers are important to the game um and you'll get the aegis r d special duty officer the aegis r d duty officer helps you um be able to craft a special shield i believe it's engines and um what was the other thing and a deflector array so and those have a unique visual that look pretty interesting so that's one way to get it um it, i mean if you don't get it with a temporal agent it's really hard for that to drop anywhere in the game so really this is your best bet if you've wanted to to uh, craft the Aegis set then definitely get a temporal recruit character um just playing through the different story arcs you get some rewards also for your entire account and um you get some energy credits you get some dilithium you get marks so definitely so much here so much also by having a temporal agent recruit and i believe it's you have to level um i don't know if it's all of your reputations to level five or some but eventually you'll be able to if you if you'll notice and i go let's say let's go to this new new car strike force reputation if you look at your ground um devices or space devices um consoles and things like that you'll see that when you grab one of these they'll already be ultra rare and level 13s so without a temporal recruit agent the highest that you're going to be able to get i mean just from purchasing it outright without upgrading them right is level 12 and it's going to be very rare not ultra rare so here it's already giving you a leg up on upgrading these consoles right so it's already going to be ultra rare and it's already going to be mark 13s instead of mark 12s so that's really fantastic so you start off um with um weapons that are going to hit a little bit better or consoles that are going to work a little bit better for you than you would otherwise without a temper recruit character i'm telling you there's a lot that this temper recruit does for your account this is account on wide. if i go to another character and i go to for example to my reputations you're going to see that i'll be able to get um any of these consoles or weapons at level 13 ultra rare instead of level 12 very rare so um very important uh recruit the most important in the game in my opinion so definitely if you have time make the time just make the time to make one of these characters if you don't already have one for your account especially especially if you're a free to play character you are going to have to set up aside just a little bit of time to play through those first six missions after that and you get your device then you could put your character away and then take it um with as much time as you want to upgrade that character and start getting those rewards so i hope that this video has been helpful to you um i didn't want y'all to uh miss out on this one especially if you don't already have one of these uh characters in your account thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here please leave a like if you like this video and if you don't you can go ahead and thumbs down too that's fine i don't get offended um <laughs> but i hope that i'll see you on the next one until then live long and prosper